Hello everyone, this is Gapcat242, and here's my review on the Star Wars Vintage Collection Shea Vizsla figure. So, this is actually a figure that was a re-release from a wave that came out years ago. I think it was in promotion for the Star Wars Old Republic video game, and the original release I never saw in stores. Um, I might have seen some of the figures, but they were very hard to come by. Shea Vizsla was probably the most coveted figure in that wave. But I'm really glad Hasbro had um, re-released that figure. And um, they also improved some things as well. But uh, let's take a look at the figure close up. So, as you can tell, Shea Vizsla is a Mandalorian bounty hunter. And the paint apps are really good. Come on, focus. Yeah, nicely done. Now... Being that this is a re-release of an older figure, it's going to have the older articulation, which which be considered outdated for some collectors, but I think it still looks good. So you're not going to have the ball joints in the legs, no hinge wrist, um, so yeah, stuff like that. But I think it's a great looking figure. So as you can see here, she has two of her pistols. Now, unfortunately, there are no, no holsters in the back. So, can't store those anywhere, so she's going to be holding them most of the time. Uh, her jetpack is removable, but it's attached to a hose, which I think can probably peg up, but I don't want to break it. Now, her jetpack's quite interesting. It's quite different from most Mandalorian jetpacks, but it's a cool design. Oh, and right back, I forgot a couple of accessories, so hopefully I won't have too much dead air. Okay, that was easy. I found them. So, her other accessories, besides her two pistols, she has an alternate head, so you can just pop this one off. Put this one on. Plugs back in. And, come on, focus. Yeah. So, I heard this was actually an improvement over the previous one. I guess the previous figure head sculpt was not that great, so this is an improvement, because I did see that figure online, and yeah, that original head sculpt was pretty bad but overall pretty good head sculpt I'm probably gonna be keeping the helmeted head on too but another neat accessory uh, she comes with these two flame effects because she has a flamethrower on her wrists at first I wasn't quite sure how these went in but there's a little slot just plug those in it's kind of tricky and yeah so it goes like that. Now, it might be a little tricky to stand the figure, but if you've got a figure stand, that probably would work. So let's see how that... Yeah, if you got a figure stand, it stands pretty good. I probably won't be using that at much, but it's a neat little accessory. So I'll just pop the head back in. Focus, there we go. So, I, differ, I would recommend picking this figure up. You can find it. I mostly got it just to fill in my Mandalorian ranks. So, yeah, that's my review on this figure. Free, feel free to leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching.